children. Today I'll be reviewing this new horror thriller dropped on Netflix. It's called Westland and it is starring Cuesta, Roberto Alamo. And this movie is directed by David Casa de Month. Although this movie synopsis it's saying it's a horror thriller and but actual movie when I look back and think about it, this is actually a psychological thriller. And in this movie we see Diago. He lives with his mom and dad in a uh, like in a very post acropolis world looks like it. but all, although uh, I, when I was reading the synopsis so it says like this movie takes place in 19th century and when you watch this movie you can see this family actually isolated from the rest of the world they just live there uh, like they have a little farm and uh, where they're growing goat and they hunt rabbit and uh, there is a little pond by their house uh, but in this movie we also see that Diago he's uh, hunted by this evil entity again uh, I got all this information from the synopsis so this entity who fits on fear that is what I saw uh, like the synopsis but actual movie when I was watching it there are a lot to like about this movie so this movie is extremely slow paced uh, in this movie you do like in this movie you do spend most of your time with this family Diego with his mom and dad uh, so I will tell you guys what I like in this movie so I really like all the acting in this movie I thought this movie was all the performance were really so good uh, they, they really keep your attention uh, like very engaging especially the little boy i couldn't find his name here he was so good uh in, especially in the beginning of the movie you see him he's like this uh protected little boy uh, like his mom is trying to protect him from all the evil thing from outside although his dad is trying to make him tough but the mom is keep trying to protect him the way he act in the first act for this movie so good the, the innocentness he brought in this movie but when we move this movie to the last act uh again he's so good in the last act for this movie because in the last act he, this movie do require him to step up his game and help his mom uh because this evil thing is feeds on people's fear and uh, uh Although when I was watching this movie, I didn't get that like this uh, evil thing was feeding on their fear. I guess as this movie progressed, you see like they do start losing their mind. Uh, so I also like all the acting, but I also like the way this movie was shot. This movie is beautifully shot and the location really worked for the movie you are watching. Uh, it's really very beautifully shot movie uh, the cinematography uh, all these things are really good however in this movie the horror aspect however it will not work for some people the way it was done uh, especially when we move to the third act and the way this creature design and how it comes and goes uh, and the way this movie like ended uh, it will make some people like oh uh, because everything ends so whenever movie are in a such a small place <laughs> like uh, especially for me when i saw this movie started in a small uh, house with only two bedroom not much place to go if in the third act uh, that is what happened in this movie and this is because this house is also in an open space uh, so in the third act i wasn't expecting big thing will happen uh, but there is something that did happen uh, i was like oh uh, I wish there was more stuff. So the whole respect for this movie wasn't great, uh, but the psychological aspect about this movie, it really very good, especially the way at first this movie started with his dad. He was like uh, this uh, acting kind of weird. He's like trying to prepare them for. Then halfway through, I guess he leave them <laughs> there. And that is the thing I didn't get. He said he went out to find his uh, wife and his daughter. Uh, uh, like who is those people i don't know he just left them there after that of course the mom started losing her mind and then we know why she was losing her mind because of this thing was hunting her down yeah overall it was interesting engaging but although it was too slow and the location uh although it looked really great beginning of the movie but as we move to the last act uh uh it became clear the location we needed more stuff around the house uh because uh, you can't do much stuff in this small place, you know. Uh, it's it's always like that. I wish there was some other thing, but no place, nowhere to go when you see this. That, I, that this is like small budget mo horror movie. Uh, 
uh, and I thought it was okay watch for me. Uh, I didn't thought it was great, but I didn't thought it was bad either. I thought all the acting were really good. The way it shot is really good. Uh, I wish the horror part was a little bit better. And the way this creature looks, it looked okay, I would say. Overall, it was an okay movie for me. Anyway, that was my thought on this movie. Let me know in the comment what do you think about this movie. And if you enjoyed my review, don't forget to check out my other reviews on Netflix movie. Please subscribe and take care.